Hey guys, this is Paraguide Dean, and welcome to a series of videos that I like to call Behind the LPs, where I'll take you through all of my completed adventures and talk about the various behind the scenes stuff of it. Like, you know, some of the technical things, like how I recorded some of these adventures, my personal likes and dislikes of a certain game, all the problems and the possible improvements and stuff like that, and I'll talk about that stuff in other videos. But in this video, it's going to be different because I'm. Is it, this is actually like more of an intro video for people who had just found my channel and are curious about what kind of an LP -er I am. So I'll go ahead and in this video, I'm going to discuss why I make videos, who inspire me to make vid these videos, my overall goal and uh, what these videos are and what they're trying to accomplish, my initial setup for when I first started, or of course you don't don't want to follow these if you're new to LP. So because of this is not, I definitely changed up this style uh, for quite a while for all the years I've been doing this. And also another small gem of a vid of this video about how I got my username. But again, we'll talk about that into the end. So let's go ahead and get started with this. Okay, so I guess where we can start first is on why I actually make these videos and uh, how I got inspired to make them. Now, I originally I didn't create this channel to make LPs, of course. I, I only use this channel for what you uh, normal people on YouTube would have, is just to, you know, get videos and whatnot, and you're not intending to make videos at all. But then, uh, I started watching LPs a few years back, and uh, I found them very interesting in the way that, uh, you uh, they how they teach how they how they teach you to go through the game of course and you know some stuff that even I wasn't aware of whenever I played the same game that they played and some of them did have like commentaries where uh, they can be very entertaining as well so uh, there are two particular uh, LPs that are actually the ones who inspired me to actually create uh, ha gave me the courage to actually create my own set of uh, LPs, and those two uh, LPs are Saron Lionheart and Dave Usher. Alright, so I watched Saron Lionheart before I watched Dave Usher. He wasn't my first person that I saw an LP from, but he's the one that I found most interesting. I'm sure that the first per uh, first time his you saw his videos, he you would think he thought he was just really, really crazy. And I did too, of course. But as I kept watching more of it, I got very intrigued about what, how uh, the style that he did in his videos. What he does is that uh, basically he not only he goes through the game, of course, but he uh, actually talks with the characters and uh, talks uh, and uh, reads all the character dialogue in a unique character voice and such. And that's what I really kind of like whenever someone plays through a game. But the way he did it, I actually kind of like it a lot more. And uh, so that whenever I would wanted to actually start making LPs, I really liked his style, and I wanted to use that kind of style whenever I make my own LPs. Now I'm sure I know what you people were thinking whenever you saw my earlier work, and if you saw his videos enough, that it kind of looks like that I was uh, ripping him off, ripping off his. Uh, way he makes his videos, and in a way, I guess that is kind of true. Yeah, I was in uh, on the, my earlier videos. I was acting really crazy as well, and I don't know. I guess people, I don't know if people like that or not. But um, nowadays, I'm trying to stay away from being too crazy. Now, I do like the style, and I still want to keep it. And if you want to say that I'm still ripping them off because I'm doing the style. Then I I guess that's all right, but I'm pretty sure that other people in the internet has or uh, you know on YouTube has done this style before. So and I haven't watched a lot of other people, so I'm sure that Saron Lionheart is not the only one who does this. So hopefully I that's not as bad. But I'm trying to not be as crazy anymore. So hopefully uh, people would appreciate that. I personally don't like my crazy self nowadays. Sometimes I like it in. In some moments, but sometimes it gets a little bit overboard sometimes for me. So I kind of like this new, uh, honester kind of approach. But there is some moments where I will act a little crazy too. 
because it's fun and it's appropriate. So forgive me for that. <laughs> okay, so yeah, so Saron Lionheart is one of the bigger inspirations on the style that I did. But there's also Dave the Usher too. Uh, now I saw him like a few, a couple of years ago, and uh, I mostly like, I really like his humor whenever he does his videos, and and he does a very good job in all of his videos that he's done, and I really respect him for that. And he is also, and he's also part of this uh, website called GameAnyone.com, and eventually it inspired me to wanna uh, put videos on there myself. So if you wanna check him out or or uh, or any of the two I've mentioned, of course I put them on my channel so you can uh, check them out. And you can also go to GameAnyone.com as well to see uh, other people's there too. They're all really great. Yeah, insert the staying full plug here again. All right, so basically those are the two people who inspire me the most to in, uh, t to get me to actually start making my LPs. Okay, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and move to the next topic now because I, I guess if I keep talking about these guys some more, you probably wanna go over to their channels instead of mine. So let's just move on now. Anyway, now the next thing I wanna talk to you about is what my goals and my in these videos are. Pretty much like uh, Saron Lionheart, uh, I wanted to uh, not only take you through the game and uh, go and uh, tell you about where everything is and such, and you know some other information that you probably might need to know in order to complete the game and you'll either show some extra stuff too but also I want to entertain people as well by uh, interacting with the characters and helping them go through their goals and uh, you know try to uh, do a lot of stuff to entertain the uh, audience as well so hopefully I accomplish majority of these goals uh, sometimes these goals requires me to be extremely precise in some strategies, like uh, for, uh, where I have to sometimes get a walkthrough and uh, go through it and step by step like that. And others I just, you know, just play it out, not being specific about anything. It can go either one of those two ways, but hopefully in the end I hope you would uh, uh, be able to understand how to get through a game. There are some games like in Super Witcher for instance where it's not step by step of course. You know, so I oh the kind of games that I do I guess is mostly uh, Nintendo games that I remember going through and playing. But sometimes I can go off tangent too and do other kinds of games that I uh, mostly don't do. Now most normally I don't do anyway. But I guess it normally it's a, like Nintendo games because I grew up playing Nintendo games, so I, it's not really a specific uh, game unlike the. Genesis or the PlayStation, whatnot. There could be some PlayStation games in the future, I don't know. Or whatever. But not in these sets of uh, adventures that I've done, but in the future. So, yeah, it's mostly also RPG games or games that take like, some kind of a strategy approach. That's a lot more easier to help guide people on. And uh, I sometimes also do side scrolling games too, like Super Widget. Uh, you know, time and again, but it's not going to be as precise. I'm still working on a system for that. But anyway, that's the kind of games and that's the goals that I, will hopefully I am accomplishing in these videos to help not only educate, but also to entertain. The perfect combinations. Uh, well, hof hopefully they're doing, uh, hopefully I combine them really, uh, relatively decent enough. Well, anyway, enough about that. Let's move on to the next uh, thing I want to talk to you about. Uh, right, so I guess now I'm going to go ahead and discuss about how I set up uh, my videos in, to begin with and how I recorded them. Now, uh, of course, when I first started, I like didn't know ex at all how I'm going to set this up. But, yeah, so I looked on some, some stuff online and I basically uh, just found some free stuff like uh, yeah, in order to get started you know, something very basic. So basically I uh, uh, have emulators, of course. I use emulators for some of these games, except for one game. That's uh, Custom Robles, of course, where I use a Dazzle, but I'll discuss more about that during uh, that video. So uh, yeah, I use emulators for all that, and I recorded the footage by using a 
recording software called Cam Studio. Oh yes, Cam Studio. Oh man, that was the bane of my existence. But I'll, I'm not going to get into it right now. But basically, I use that, and then I use Movie Maker to edit it all. That's how I did it. Basically, throughout uh, for quite a while throughout my uh, LP uh, video making career, and whatnot. <laughs> yeah, it's not really a career, but you know what I mean, right? So, uh, and also I use uh, headsets in order to record the audio and the commentary for the videos. I sometimes use microphones too, but I haven't had the best look at those. Yeah, uh, if I, I I'm going to get to my, when I talk more about that in like Tenchi Muyo where the microphone problems is really, really bad, but uh, let's just move on. So that's how I, so that's how I recorded everything. It worked out quite all right though, for the first few, uh, for the first few videos, but of course I didn't stay this way for a and I'm plan also playing, especially now that I'm going to change up my system a little bit more. I'm going to have a you know, better uh, screen capture devices when I do emulator games. So I might have to shell out some money for that. That's what it has to take sometimes if you really are committed to doing these videos and wanting to do a better job. Because back then I didn't really care too much about quality, but now I want to hopefully improve it and uh, hope to help make better videos. So hopefully you can hopefully you can see how much better I get. Sometimes I make mistakes. I'll explain them in detail in the videos, and then how I how I wish that I could improve them and such. All right. So hopefully that gets you the basis of what you wanted of what you have to do in order to make an LP. I can give you recommendations because I'm not the best at doing it. Uh, yeah. But but uh, if you want to be more serious than something like Camtasia, that costs money if you want to get the full thing. And I've only used the trial version, but so so far I kind of I really liked it as a screen capture device. It's one of the best out there. Okay, so we're done talking about that subject. Now let's talk about one last thing real quick. Now you're probably wondering, sort of maybe who knows I don't know about why I chose the screen the username of Perry Guy 88. Well, there's no real specific reason for that. I basically, I actually really don't highly remember, except that there's probably one theory that I remember when I was watching videos. I uh, basically named the Perry part out of a character I make from a, a role playing. Whenever I do uh, on, write online role playing stuff, it was one of the characters. So, and uh. Yeah, that's basically where that comes from, and I just, you know, just decided to keep it whenever I wanted to make LPs because I actually kind of like the name. So, yeah, that's that's how that is. It's really no big deal. So, yeah, that's it for the introduction. Uh, I Hopefully you understand where I'm coming from here, and then you would, uh, uh, well, you know, if you like what I do, just go ahead and keep watching. You can leave some good comments too. I'd to be very appreciative about how I could get better. Uh, yes, as much I enjoy constructive criticism. Yes, I I like that a lot, and I really like to improve. And hopefully, you all like my videos. All right. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy this. That's the end of this video, and I'm and enjoy the other uh, videos in this series. The next one is going to be on the behind the LPs of Punch Out. My very first one, my very first LP, and yes, I got a, a lot of things to discuss about that game. So, yep, that's it. Uh, this is Bear Guy the Eight, and I'll see you all into the next behind the LP. All right, see you guys later.